breaking news! A total solar eclipse is coming to Syracuse on April 8th! Let's turn it over to our favorite earth science teacher to learn more! Alright guys, I want to explain to you how important this eclipse day is to me, and I think why it should be important to you, why you should care about April 8th, 2024. It's a big deal. It's a big deal astronomically, and that's why you're getting the day off. So I want to show you what to expect and why this is such a rare event. An eclipse happens, a total solar eclipse happens, when the moon gets in the way of the sun in our sky and blocks out all the sunlight. And if, in, if you're in this path of where the moon is and you're on Earth in this area, you're going to have a solar eclipse. Now, why is that so rare? Well, number one, the fact that the moon orbits the Earth and sometimes goes into this path of where the sun is located, it doesn't happen very often. In fact, that only happens every 18 months or so somewhere on the Earth. Now, we just happen to be in the exact right position for that and so we are in the path of totality here in Syracuse. Why does it not happen all the time? Well the moon's orbit is tilted relative to the earth's orbit around the sun and so it's not going to happen all the time. So there's the number one reason we don't get eclipses all the time. Number two, sometimes you're in the right position and sometimes you're not. If you're not in the exact right position it's going to be a partial eclipse. And a partial eclipse looks like this. That happened back in 2017 here in, the, in North America uh, for most of us that were living in New York. Uh, if you went south, you probably saw a total solar eclipse, which looks more like this. Not very long ago, there was an annular eclipse that came to uh, America, and that looked like this. Sometimes it's called a ring of fire eclipse. So a total eclipse is very, very rare. And for a total eclipse to happen, you have to be in the exact correct position of what's called the umbra. That's the shadow of the moon in a very narrow band that's located on Earth's surface. For us, it's about a hundred miles wide depending upon the moon's position. And here in Syracuse, we're in that little tiny narrow band. If you're outside of that tiny narrow band, then you're in the penumbra, and that's just a partial eclipse as I showed you before. Now, an annular eclipse looks like this, where the umbra shadow is not even on the Earth's surface, and that sometimes happens when the moon is a little bit further away. And that's the third reason uh, that's really important regarding eclipses. Interestingly enough, the moon is 400 times smaller than the sun, and therefore if you were to put them side by side, it would look like this picture, and there's the Earth in the middle of that. It's tiny compared to the entire sun. However, the sun is 400 times further away than the moon, and therefore, the moon and the sun appear to be the exact same size in the sky. That is amazing. That is not coincidental, I don't think, but it's a really, really cool fact. And the fact that they're both the same size in the sky allows us to have what is called a total solar eclipse. Now, number four, the other thing that's important about this one the fact that it's a total solar eclipse means that it's in the position when it happens like that, when the moon and the sun look to be the same size in the sky. And sometimes that's not true because the moon orbits the Earth in what's called an elliptical orbit, meaning that sometimes it's a little bit further away and sometimes it's a little bit closer. And therefore, the moon sometimes looks a little bit bigger. We call that a supermoon. And sometimes it looks a little bit smaller. That's a micromoon. On average, it looks to be about this size, which again, is the exact same size as the sun and allows for a total solar eclipse. Again, not something that happens all the time. Number five, and I think this is probably the biggest one. This eclipse on April 8th, 2024, is the only one that is going to happen in our area pretty much for the rest of your life. You're never gonna see one in Syracuse ever again. The next eclipse that will happen in North America is in the year 2045, but again, you have to travel down south to go see that. If you want to see it again in the state of New York, it will be in the year 2079 in New York City and Long Island. But you'd have to wake up at six o'clock in the morning on May 1st and hope that the clouds are not in the sky that morning. And that kind of brings me to the kicker. This is all weather dependent. So we're really, really hoping for clear skies on April 8th 2024. Really, really interesting to see all those paths of totality across North America. Now, 
let's talk a little bit about the idea of watching this eclipse. There are multiple ways to watch an eclipse safely, and that's the important part. This has to be a safely done task. It is really a scientific experiment, so you really have to watch yourself and be careful because you do not want to go blind. And so here's method number one. You can project the sun's light using a pinhole projector, which is this kind of a thing. It's just a piece of cardboard with a hole punched into it. You could also use like a colander from your kitchen, or you could even use binoculars and cast the light from the binoculars through it and project it onto a piece of paper on the ground. Those are really easy methods and you could do that. Or you could be cool and do method number two, which is to use a filter, which is a safe filter. And those include solar eclipse glasses or filters that you can buy for your telescope or for your binoculars. Now it's your lucky day. I purchased them for the entire CBA community. So you're all going to get a pair of solar eclipse glasses to be able to watch this safely uh, for the two hour window that this actually happens here in New York. Now, there, here's the cool thing. These are pictures that I took. This is with eclipse glasses and these are without. You would have absolutely no clue that an eclipse was going on if you didn't have your eclipse glasses. The only time you would really notice anything was be, would be when it gets totally dark for that little, little bit of time in the afternoon. Otherwise, you'd have no clue what was going on. So that's why you guys are all getting these eclipse glasses, or you should buy your own eclipse glasses to be able to watch this eclipse for the entire time period. Now, let's talk a little bit about this path of totality. Here is a map of North America and where the eclipse is going. In order to see a total solar eclipse, in other words, for the moon to block out the light from the sun, you have to be in this dark red path somewhere in North America. Now for us in Syracuse, we're really right on the edge of it. And if you wanna have a longer time period of essentially the moon blocking out the sun, you really wanna to get to the dotted red line in the middle there. And you can see the city of Buffalo is right on that line or Rochester is pretty close to it. You could go north from here up to Watertown that's gonna have a longer time period of totality. But if we just stay here in Syracuse, this is a cool map. I'm gonna put the link to this down in the comments, but you could click anywhere. Like we could go right to CBA here where we're located and we could just click on this map and it will tell us exactly when the eclipse will happen, how long totality will last for. And you can see right here, it's just over a minute here at CBA. It'll tell you that it starts at 2.09 PM in the afternoon. So that's when the moon first makes contact. And then the totality time will be 3.23 in the afternoon, ending at 3.24.21. And the whole entire eclipse will be over at 4.34 in the afternoon. So it's really a two and a half hour event in total. And you'll see if you watch this, this clip, you can kind of watch the entire um, model of what's going to happen. Again, around two o'clock in the afternoon, it starts to eclipse. It'll cover it completely and then totality will happen. And that's the fun part. Totality is the awesome part of eclipses because the entire sky will get dark. And that kind of leads me to my next thing. A lot of really neat science happens when the sky gets dark. You're gonna see the stars in the sky. You're going to feel the temperature drop quite dramatically. In fact, this is data from 2017 but down in Virginia. And you'll see that the temperature dropped a significant amount, almost 12 degrees. Uh, Celsius here of it dropping. Crazy um, uh, temperature drop as, as the sky gets dark. You'll also see that animals start to behave a little bit differently because they're like, what is going on? So they're gonna, they might do some crazy stuff. You probably will hear crickets start chirping. You might see bats start flying. The birds will probably go to bed. It'll be a really strange occurrence and it's gonna be awesome. So the end conclusion of all this guys, is I want you to go see this. I want you to enjoy this eclipse. So get somewhere in this path of totality, go somewhere on April 8th where you can witness this. And again, the biggest thing is you wanna go where there's gonna be clear weather. And so that's the biggest wild card in this whole thing. But again, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you guys all enjoy this time because again, this is a once in a lifetime event and I hope you all get out there and watch this happen.